Let me go ahead and tell y'all the backstory of Nahanda, the first queen of Wakanda. Nahanda won her Challenge Day trials during a turbulent time in the nation's history. Tribal fractions fought insistently, often stealing from each other to offer greater tri tributes to the throne. The young queen created a fragile peace by founding the Dora Milaje. That's right, Queen Nahanda created the Dora Milaje. Instead of crops or gifts, Wakanda tribes sent their most precious resource to the palace. They sent the future, their adored ones. Unbeknownst to anyone, Nahanda's parents had her and her sister trained in the occult arts from a young age. When the heart-shaped herb tethered her to the soul of the nation, Nahanda's soul sight allowed her to see through the eyes of any Wakanda, no matter where they were. This same ability allowed the queen to track Zawabari after the mystical mentor disappeared from the realm. When she needed to venture outside of Wakanda's borders in search of her former teacher, the door Malaje proved useful in another way. Nahanda used the glamour spell on one of the adored ones and left her on the throne in her absence. A coat had taken Sawaveri because he uh, traveled outside ancient multiverses. They also stole other mystical artifacts and used vibranium to amplify their spell. Now you know, vibranium amplifies magic. Aiming to free Sumaket, an ancient Atlantean tyrant who had been exiled to another dimension, Nahanda joined a group of far-flung warriors looking to avenge these thieves like a mosey before her. She found herself among legends. An Iron Fist from beneath the waves, the Atlantean Iron Fist, a witch empowered by the Phoenix Force itself, a rampaging Viking, a Yeti Man beast who reigned as Sorcerer Supreme, a young god of thunder, and a spirit of vengeance who crossed the seas. Nahanda used her sonic shield to bar Sumaket's entry while her soul sight located in outer realm to serve as his new prison. She was able to hold a fucking dimension from being open. She helped bring justice to a world still ignorant of Wakanda's existence. Queen Nahanda took le lovers but left no hair. Still, she left a legacy that changed Wakanda forever, creating an institution that protects us to this day. To be continued.